from Thomas Scannell. Date, Monday, February 3rd, 2019, at 7.35 a.m. Subject, regarding potential anomalous activity. Two, Eleanor Jones. Miss Jones, you are making this unnecessarily difficult. I am sure you understand that, since you have been a Foundation employee for as long as you have, you are entitled to certain opinions about the way we operate around here. I ask you to deliver on a certain tangible, reportable data, and you don't. You constantly question decisions above your pay grade, and for the icing on the cake, you make ludicrous assertions about the management of budgets without any proof to back it up. This is unacceptable. Tom Scannell, C3 Supervisor Accounting. From Eleanor Jones. Date, Monday, February 3rd, 2019, at 12.35 p.m. Two. Thomas Scannell. I do not mean to make you feel as though I am undermining your authority or anything of the sort. I don't know how to explain it to you in a way you would understand. It's not real text and they're not real numbers. Please let me ask you, what does this line say? I am asking you to read it, out loud, if that helps. PO number, vendor name, description, amount, 801-685, Boza Jurgen. Data Services Consultation, $4,845.70. I think we need to have an in-person discussion about this. It's very important. Don't you see it? I know I'm not crazy, Tom. Please. Eleanor Jones, Senior Accountant. From Tom Scannell. Date, Monday, February 3rd, 2019, at 4.47 p.m. To Eleanor Jones. Miss Jones. Have you considered speaking to an on-site therapist? I don't know how to put this delicately, but you are exhibiting erratic and unusual behavior. The other possibility is that you have interacted with something you should not have. Have you forgotten where you stand in this organization? Or what clearances you are authorized? I am considering placing you on administrative leave until you speak to a foundation counselor. That's what they are trained for. Handling people who get nosy and fuck their own heads up. Tom Scannell, C3 Supervisor Accounting, from Eleanor Jones, date, Monday, February 3rd, 2019, at 9.23 p.m., to Tom Scannell, Sir, I apologize for messaging you so late this evening. What I'm particularly concerned about is the impact in the event that I'm right. We're talking about a whole department, integral to the structure of the Foundation's work in medics, that disappeared overnight. Given what I feel is the urgency of the matter, I have put in a request to see if I can get approval to pursue this line of investigation as a special project. I understand I am not a researcher, but the matter is constantly weighing on me. Eleanor Jones, Senior Accountant. From Tom Scannell. Date, Monday, February 4th, 2019, at 7.35 a.m. To Eleanor Jones. I am not interested in any more of this behavior. As you've now decided to go over my head without authority, I am rapidly coming to the conclusion that this job is not for you. You are insubordinate, and I cannot continue to consume so much company time on your behalf. Please begin clearing out your desk, if you don't mind. Tom Scannell, C3 Supervisor, Accounting. From Eleanor Jones. Date, Monday. February 4th, 2019, at 9.11 a.m. To Tom Scannell. Sir, given your response, I think we have nothing left to discuss. Please accept my resignation effective immediately. Eleanor Jones. End of file. To learn more about the SCP Foundation, subscribe to SCP Orientation Today and turn the notification bell on so you don't miss any of our videos.